Hi everybody, it's Dean. Welcome for another progressive rock guitar lesson today. It's Rush and Fountain of Lamneth from Caress of Steel album. Now I had to familiarize myself with this song. I'd heard it a few times growing up and as big as a Rush fan as I am, they have a huge catalog so I actually was not familiar with every single album they have. So I've really enjoyed uh, learning it and want to share it with you now. Um, now if, as you know that it starts off in a, with an acoustic guitar but uh, for the ease of uh, making this lesson for me, I'm just going to do it right on electric. It's actually a 12-string acoustic even he uses, but we can still learn it on the, on the uh, guitar right here. So we start off with a D, sort of that, that kind of idea, and then get your pinky up here to the C sharp, and you move to this chord which is basically a C-sharp there, and then it's an A. And you're still fretting on the second fret all the way down. So it's... And then it's a... Let's see, that's a B, B minor. Standard B minor based on the fifth um, string bass note there. Okay. And then you drop to an A, but you keep all of your fingering of a B minor right there. And then you go to a G. And then you go to an G sharp, uh, F sharp here. But you add a note. So see, normally you in the G it's right. So we're playing third fret here, third fret there. But then when you play the F sharp, you're adding an A here. So the third string, you're not playing open, you're playing second fret. And then an E major. So for that part, you're going to be um, you're using a pick and a finger. So you're going to switch from doing just picking with a pick, single notes, where you're going to pick a couple at once. You're going to go... And to be precise about what notes I'm doing there, so we got the A. And this slides up to the fourth here, and the third fret there, and then the sixth fret here, and the fifth fret there. And each time you're also moving up the bass notes, so you go. So you're hitting an octave basically. That's a B there, and that's a B there, plus a D, then a C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, and then an E played on the B string. So, So picking up from the end of that, and when it moves into the next section, it goes. And then it kind of goes. Uh, so the uh, chording there is like, that's all, just those two fingers. It's like, like a D there. And then, like so, and then this, and then this, and then slide it up.
moves into that uh, distortion part. We're gonna get the distortion here going. So then it goes. Which is basically, you're just, it's distortion, that's all. And you're still playing the same shapes. This is um, it's kind of a, an aggressive way of playing. You're going to play a, a B major like that. It's a simple chord, right? And you're just playing the middle four strings more or less. You're leaving the outside strings off. You're not really playing them. But then you slide down, and then you play all of your strings. Very important to play all of them. And you're playing this A sussy chord here. I'll put the name of it. It's either A sus or A sus two, and you leave it all ringing, especially the E string. Somehow it just uh... so again, it's it's a major. B, and then that sus chord, whoops, and you get all your strings, it's really the, uh, cool, so cool. And then you hit this D, and um, then you hit this kind of a C chord. And you're kind of uh, going off and on with this. Back to a D. So, again, from the D. Oh, stuff's falling apart here. So, from a D you go. And then it kind of resolves to an A. So then we go to a clean. So then it comes to this quiet part. So it's an E minor, but you're playing a D here, third fret, second string, so you go. And then you're sliding up here, you're going, see that? Now, um, a, a little bit inward of that section, Lifeson starts to play G here. And then there's a part where, if you can imagine, just playing a C and sliding it up two frets. So you go. And then you add your A here with your pinky on the first string, fifth fret. So you go. And then slide it down. So the C comes to the B to the A there. And then slide it up again. And then he plays an F, except instead of playing like that, you play it like this. You want to fret it with your thumb right there, and then you go, oops. So the E is not being pressed, your E is open, so you go. And 
And if that's too tough for you, you can just avoid it. Just play this part. And then you just slide it up like that. And um, so again, that section is... Uh, And then you go to this part again. But we have to change our settings. So let me think, did I show everything there? Now this is a long song, so I think I'll just cut off this video and this will be part one. And we'll have a part two and um, take care of all the loose ends. So. Um,